Holy shit, it's only been a day and like there's the patch. Oh my god. Like look at this paragraph. Holy shit. Anyways, but overall, I've read through it. Agility seems to got nerfed. Swim speed got nerfed <laughs> by 50%. Worry got buff. And surge spell got reduced range. Which means you still do the same damage, but yeah, you also get damage resistant, which means when you're doing surge, you're gonna take less damage. So, interesting. I mean, it depends on your element, I guess, right? Um, cause I don't know what's like, cause metal, metal is really resistant to most element, right? So, you, if you're a metal user, <laughs> you use this just. <laughs> That damage resistant buff is gonna benefit you a lot, so. But yeah, there, we got a lot of changes going on. I just gave you guys a summarize of what's going on, but... Yeah, let's read through it, right? <laughs> so, um, for 3.1, um, no, 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 not 3.1, point thirty one version, and we're gonna go down from this. Reduce the duration of solid magic visual effects slightly. Um, sure, okay, let's lag maybe. Um, blast spell cooldown went from. Okay, it got increased by 0.25 second. Aw oh, man, I can't, we can't spam it anymore. I like spamming that, by the way. I'm surprised they nerfed it just now, like, speed wise, right? I mean, not speed wise, cooldown wise. Interesting, interesting. Now, third one is says, reduced it the scaling of attack speed on beam spell. It's max range, 50% to 25%. Okay, I mean, I don't think people are using attack speed on beam much. At least it's not like a popular thing, right? Most people just want the power, power, power. <laughs> oh man, I, I literally had like two people walk up to me. It's like, guess what? And then like, I'm like, what? And they're like, they literally just attack me, like, right? Cause to show me the damage. I'm like, okay then, I mean, 250, 300 damage. Okay, that's normal. I mean, if you're a meta user, yeah, you're like gonna be doing like 400 damage or something. So, oof, eww. But yeah, they, they weren't using meta. They were like using other solid magic, like fire or something. It's weird. Um, anyways. Let's see, beam spells now have 25% less AoE when they reach the max range without hitting anything. Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, I mean, like, beam spell nerf, I don't really see the point to it. I mean, like, because damage isn't nerfed, so you're still going to be doing the damage still. Um, I like it, personally, because I, I like using the 20% um, beam attack with metal. That thing does like 400 for me with 160 power, right? Not bad, like, yeah, metal is just like super hard hitting. There, there's like big issue with it though. Um, Pulsar spell now has a delay before it begins pulsing based on the pulse rate setting. Um, sure. So does it, just, it doesn't pulse immediately. Okay, shit. I, I liked it, the uh, fact that like it pulses immediately, kinda. Once you shoot it out, that way you just do like double damage, right? If you're able to hit the target directly with the pulsar spell. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna change. Like this could reduce pulsar damage a lot, depending on how like the pulsar works. So we're gonna have to see. Um, pulsar nerf question mark. Surge spell no longer applies potion gel effects. Yay, gale effect is gone. Too bad wind users on top. <laughs> and then it says after that, reduced it range of surge spell by 20%. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Damage resistance given while using surge is now 20% for every magic. So every single magic has 20% damage resistance. Um, damage resistance is a weird word to put it. Like, I guess it's really based on how your element, or what element you're using. Um, so, okay, weird. 
Grip shot and heavy grip shot damage with cannon fist, 10%. Oh, negative 10%? Okay, I mean, slight nerf, whatever. Um, I don't use cannon fist. Um, yeah, yay. Crash Techniques Impact Hitbones now have the size, the AOE size, rather than a direct hit? What the hell is going on here? Rather than a direct hit being required to initiate the attack. Huh? What, like, it's just saying, like, you do less AOE, like, what else would, uh, require to initiate the tank? But whatever, I mean, less AOE, whatever. Crash is already getting, like, nerfed to the ground at this point. So, shot technique damage scaling plus 23%, what a odd number. And then, it says after that, shock technique power stat affinity negative 3%. I guess technically this is a buff? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Shot technique buff. Hmm. I think that's a really good buff for um, just, you know, strength user in general. Um, and then Selino technique. Sorry if I'm selling it wrong. And lag plus 20%. And then technique not back minus 20%. I guess slight nerf? Hmm. I'm not sure if knockback, like getting less knockbacks in nerf or not. I don't know. I don't, I don't play strength that much. And then it says its hitbox no longer is as far forward. Okay, it shoots less far uh, relative to its AoE. So, okay, I, I, I don't use this new spell at all, but I assume you can adjust its AoE. So you get less distance depending on how far or how big your AOE you made it. Mm. Slight nerf. Okay, whatever. That's all I'm hearing because I, I, it confuses me sometimes trying to like apply it in my head. And then now, here's all the warrior boss. Swift weapon enchant speed went from 5% to 7.5%. Uh huh. And bursting range weapon enchant range multiplier. Oh, so you, you can shoot farther? Like, cast your spell farther? Went from 10% to 15%. Um, I'm not sure if this is AoE increase or like, okay, a little bit weird. But I'll, like, I'll take the buff, whatever. I'll play Warrior eventually, right? <laughs> um, Temporal weapon enchant damage went from 10% to 15%. Oh, Jesus Christ. 5% is like decent, really. Arden weapon enchant speed 10% to 22%. What the hell? 22.5% to be exact. Jesus Christ. You're gonna be like shooting a gun. Or better than a gun, actually. This weapon enchant size went from 20% to 30%. What the hell? Oh, but it did like decrease speed from 10% to 20%. Still, you're gonna be like having so much size, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Woven skill damage is 20%. Gets 20%? What's Whirlwind again? Guys, I forgot what Whirlwind is. <laughs> but it has more startup time 0.15 second. Jesus. Not a lot, by the way. I wish. I thought they would nerf it more, but okay. Reduce clashing power? Okay. Sure. Uh, and ethereal flash i think that's the king hold on i'll be right back all right i am back got some food <laughs> i woke up literally like really late now i got some food mm. <laughs> i took an afternoon nap one 1 p.m went from 7 p.m <laughs> uh but anyways what we're talking about oh yeah king skill yeah, you get more damage, you know, the flash, okay. Nobody used that anyways, Lebel. Mm -hmm. And Sparrow Thrust skill, start time went from... It got an increase of 0.15 seconds. Okay, that's the range move for the spear, I believe. I mean, not bad. Maybe it will affect you in the long run, maybe. Like, slight nerf if you're a spear user, but it should be okay. And then it reduced Rain of Arrows skill and lag. Ooh, that's so good. Rain of Arrows is actually a broken skill sometimes. Like if you hit someone, it's like hitting someone with the Pulsar spell. 
directly and indirectly. That's how like the rain of arrow felt like to me. And then brutal rush projectile speed plus twenty five percent. What is brutal rush? Is that like a warlord weapon? I mean, kind of re irrelevant, but okay. Okay, now moving to the next patch. Added an ambient volume slider and render distance slider to setting. Very nice, I love that. Uh, render distance can be set from 50% to 250%. Jesus. Affects island and NPC ships. Okay, not sure how that works. But it could affect fishing a lot. Like the fishing sound, right? I feel like. Added a texture quality setting that reverts the custom material to the base Roblox material textures. Not sure if this would even do anything, but it exists, I guess. Bro. So. Well, well, <laughs> so if the feature was added, just why not, right? <laughs> okay, maybe it would decrease lag. I don't know. Added a glow behind the text title text of notification. Um, sure. Archeum items now have a magic color overlay on their item thumbnail. Um, sure. Yeah, cool. More, more rainbow color. I love that. Reduce the effectiveness of swim speed by 50%. Rest in peace. 20% went from 10% for swim speed jewel. Like, the uh, gravite jewel. Rest in peace. Goodbye, guys. You will no longer be faster than Kench. Well, not really. I think you still be faster than a brig if you get max swim speed. Um, but oh well. Um, on warm islands, you know, ca character now gradually tans when exposed to the sun. Right. Mm -hmm. When you're indoors or under a cloud, if it's foggy or if it's nighttime, the tan doesn't increase. Right. Blah blah blah. I don't know. Tanning system is weird. But it takes about 30 day minutes worth of daytime on Warm Island to reach max tan. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then it says when on neutral or cold island, your tan will fade over time. Mm, okay, nothing too big. Maybe you just turn African, you know? <laughs> like a little bit faster, if you want. Increase it to width and length of the cone attack. Or I mean, of the cone check for movement based grab. What is a cone? Ah, oh, god. The grab changes are weird, dude. It made its size be the same regardless of the range of- Okay, what? Okay, no wonder why this thing is so buggy. Based on the range of the skill, its size is different. Ah, oh, god, dude. Okay, well, I, I don't know what this will do, but hey, hey man, fix grab attack. That shit is like broken. Either sometimes it works really well, or sometimes it just like die in fire, you know, start drowning in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Frozen and petrified status duration went from 1 second to 0.8 seconds. Ah, the frozen nerf. But too bad, paralyzed is still here, no mind. Oh shit, imbued this de sun status effect. Mo duration multiplier went from 0.7 to 0.5. Ah, damn. But that's only imbued, so I think paralyzed didn't get nerf. Wasn't paralyzed like 1.5 second? I'm not sure, I don't remember. But paralyzed on top, baby. Screw frozen and petrify. Right? If you're um, a frozen kanji or something. I guess now is the time to be lightning kanji here. <laughs> but yeah, now, uh, here's the agility stat effectiveness on the high jump. Went from 1x to 0.75x, so 25% nerf. And then effectiveness on dodge and reflexes went from 0.8 to 0.6, so like 20% nerf, I would say. Man, would that would that be 20% nerf? I don't know. It's like decreased by 20%. So, okay. Crystal magic speed affinity went from 0.7 to 0.75. Ugh, 5%. Increase. I don't know if that would do anything, but yeah, I mean, here, here's all the changes. Really, we've been through it now. Cool. Um, nothing crazy. Agility debuff, right? <laughs> nerf, warrior buff, and slight surge nerf. Not bad, not bad. Uh, and that's not the end of the world. I think we can still use the swim speed jewel a little bit. Um, 
We're not gonna be like zooming across the map, unfortunately. We. Uh, well, what's the bug fix, anyways? Um, some visual bug. Uh, you can get sandy dug up from snow. Even ability while stunned puts it on cooldown. Uh, yeah, some like w changes, fixes. I don't usually read this, but cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back to editing the video <laughs> and you know record some background gameplay. I'll see you later. Bye bye.